Good morning. It's the Romany Rye. You can see why I haven't been about. I got rushed in hospital. Had a emergency op on my kidney. My kidneys and uh, I was pretty poorly there for three or four days. I've um, I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself, and at the moment I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've lost a a week out of my life. I've disorientated and and uh, unsure and. Not a very nice feeling at all. So, to talk about my experience and uh, some of the things that I believe are happening to us in this world, I don't know. Um, Last Sunday there, I was struck down with pain. Pain that was unbearable. Anyway, paramedics come. Nice people. And uh, got me rushed into the hospital. Um... Within half an hour, I was in intensive care. All plumbed up, catheter in, another thing in my vein, drips in me, oxygen. And um, when I come around, And I'm still feeling like it now. When I come around, I was, I, I don't know how to explain it. Now, what's very apparent to me, we're talking about artificial intelligence, AI. Everything now It's barcodes. They come around, zap you with the gun. A set of instructions comes up on the screen. They carry out those instructions, zap you again, say it's done. The nurse in care was brilliant, I can't say nothing about the nursing care, but what is very, very apparent is that we don't have any, well, we don't have many um, nurses and doctors that are actually English in this country now. Not in the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital, anyway. And to be honest, it was almost like a very ro robotic experience. And it was very, very difficult to understand some of the nurses. And uh, there's not much interaction anymore I suppose it's because I haven't been in the hospital for years, but it's a pretty daunting experience. And uh, one I want to go into, into a bit of finer detail. But whilst I was in there, when I went into the recovery ward, not in the intensive care ward, in the recovery ward, you could see, for instance, there was a, a lady there, a cleaner, and um, 
She was obviously British, so I got talking to her. I said, how much is your payment of? She said, minimum wage. I said, minimum wage. Now, this ain't this ain't very nice what I'm going to say. But when you had the, what I had done, you've got mushes and rackleys in there with ingers coming out of both. they got to clean up. Piss everywhere. they got to clean up. And these people are on minimum wage. Something's not right. And when you talk about the NHS now, there seems to be a boss for every little transaction, a manager. And uh, in the ward I was in, they would be pushing around a trolley, electronic trolley, that would come up a computer screen, and every detail would be a deer to scan, punched in, like I said before. So, they don't, if there's no, there's no communication as such. You get the doctors coming around in the morning, and the surgeons, they do some job, I'm not saying about the job and the care. Fuck me, you'd be dead if you never had these these people. But everything now is so precise. Um, it's incredible. But there seem, what I'm trying to say is there seems to be a lot of managers overseeing each other. Um, it's difficult to explain, but I will get my head around it a bit more. But it has, it's not been very nice. And i tell you what I've come out with. I've, I've been vomiting severely because the food, my God almighty, the food's like Inger. And i only got to go and see something now or smell it. And I've been vomiting ever since I've been home. Make a meal, to be honest. And I ain't in the best of mental states at the moment. But give myself a few days, and I want to continue this story about how I was in that hospital. I've got to go back, so I hope what I'm revealing doesn't have any effect on me, but I think artificial intelligence is already here. Uh, the nurses walk by you, non expressionist, not a smile, not all of them, but I say 95% of them, not a smile. They got one direction, they know where they're going, they know what they're doing. They come in and do it, bleep you off, and then they go to another room. And, um, it's pretty terrifying. I had to make a couple of phone calls while I was in there. And I had to ask a couple of passwords of people that I know. Don't, this is serious. To make sure that I wasn't dead. Because I just didn't know where I was. And um, more to come, but for now, I'm getting a bit emotional about it. So it's bye bye for now for the Romany Rye. And uh, I'll come back again today sometime.